Hi, this is Dave Roth from Big Panda, and today we're going to be talking about getting started with user management. Specifically, we're going to dive into role-based access control, or RBAC, why it matters, and how it will help you and your team. We will then step through the process of assigning roles and permissions to users in Big Panda. In Big Panda, user management allows you to streamline your processes by giving users only the controls and information that are relevant to them for expediting the remediation of incidents. User management also enables you to increase security within the platform by limiting access to the various administration functions within Big Panda. This is done by using roles with specified permissions and applying them to specific users. Through this process, you can define granular controls over different aspects of Big Panda and grant specific views to the relevant people or teams. The value of RBAC becomes overwhelmingly apparent when you can log in and quickly access the incidents they are responsible for without having to sift through views that are not within their domain. Roles with read-only permissions can also be configured, allowing for a broader exposure and adoption of Big Panda across the organization. Now let's discuss the creation and management of users in Big Panda. To access user management, click on the settings cog in the upper right corner and then choose user management. Let's create and invite a new user. We'll click on invite a user, fill in their name, their email, choose to create them in, as an admin at this stage, and click invite user. The user will receive an email from Big Panda with an activation link that's valid for 72 hours, after which an admin will need to re-send the invitation. The user presses on the link he received and arrives at the login page, where he now enters a password using the minimum password requirements. Minimum length of eight characters, at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter, and at least one number or a special character. The user access is now complete. Now let's discuss the creation of roles and permissions. Roles allow you to customize user capabilities, use a role-based control access, and separate user duties and views. To access roles management, click on the settings cog in the upper right-hand corner and select roles management. As you can see here, Big Panda provides two out-of-the-box roles, admin that has full permissions and user with more limited permissions. If we click on a role, the details of its permissions show on the right-hand side. For each of the roles, you have the ability to edit, duplicate, and delete it. Now let's create a custom role. Big Panda allows for the creation of very granular roles to limit user access, only the information he or she would need. Let's click on Add a New Role. We'll give the role a name. Here, we will create a read-only role and call it as such. Next, we can add any users we would like to apply this role. Then, we add the permissions we wish to apply to the role. Since this will be a read-only role, we could filter our permissions by typing in read in the search field. This will allow us to easily pick permissions that include the word read. Let's add the permissions we want to give this role. Finally, we can provide access to environments. In this case, we will provide this role with read-only access to all the environments. For a full list of permissions and their details, see our Docs page. We click Create Role, and the role is created. You can see the permissions we granted this role on the right. Back under User Management, when we add a new user or edit an existing one, we see that new role and can now apply it to the user. Now that we've shown you how to create users and roles inside of Big Panda, let's talk about other ways to manage users, specifically single sign-on or SSO. SSO is an excellent way for users in your organization to benefit from using their current ID and password to gain access to Big Panda. You can configure an SSO integration to manage your organization's entire membership via a third-party identity provider. Let's see how this works. After a Big Panda administrator successfully logs in 
and authenticates via basic authentication. He or she can configure their organization to use SAML 2.0 compliant third-party IDP for delegated authentication. When users navigate to BigPanda, a.bigpanda.io, and request SSO authentication, SSO will redirect them to verify their identity with the IDP. If a user does not have a valid session with the IDP, they are directed to a login page where they may be asked for their username, password, security question, or several identification methods as determined by the IDP. The IDP then returns an assertion as to the identity of the users, and they are then authenticated in turn and authorized to log into Big Panda. When SSO is configured for an organization, all authentication requests are routed through the third party IDP, and users cannot log in directly to Big Panda. Please note that your Big Panda login email and your SSO email must match. To set up SSO, click the settings cogwheel in the top right corner and select single sign on. Now, select the desired SSO provider and follow your on screen instructions to set up your SSO. If you have a provider that is not listed, please click on the intercom icon at the bottom of the screen and our support team will guide you through the process. Big Panda also allows for SSO just in time. This allows organizations to skip the step of creating users manually inside of Big Panda and automatically creates them the first time they authenticate. To enable SSO just in time for your organization, contact Big Panda support. Now that you're familiar with the user management, RBAC, and SSO, please feel free to browse our other self-service videos for more information. We want you to be successful in your Big Panda journey, so if at any point you need help, please reach out to our support team via the in-app chat, and don't forget about our online documentation at docs.bigpanda.io. Thank you for watching.